With the victory, Guyana joined defending champions Barbados, Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago in the semi-finals, which get underway on Wednesday at the same venue. Semi-final 1 on Wednesday will pit Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago, while semi-final 2 on Thursday will feature Guyana and Jamaica. Leeward Islands won the toss and opted to bat first, and that decision immediately backfired as they ran into the rampant combination of experience and youth in Smart and Fraser. Smart 36 rocked the top order with four wickets and 22-year-old Fraser picked up three as the Islanders crashed to 18 for seven by the 11th over. It took a fighting effort from the Leeward's tailenders to avoid a total humiliation. Therese Parker was the lone batter to get into double figures with 22 as extras were 27. Smart produced outstanding figures of 10 overs, 2 maidens, 12 runs, 4 wickets, while Fraser, playing for the first time since a knee injury, curtailed her participation in the preceding T20 blaze, produced figures of 8 overs, 1 maiden, 19 runs, 3 wickets. Mandy Mangro, Shinata Grimmond and Flaffiana Millington were the other wicket takers with 1 each. In reply, Openers Katana Mentor and Mangru gave Guyana a start of 20 in 5.2 overs before Mangru was dismissed for 3. Mentor was then run out for 16 at 41 for 2 in the 10th over. Campbell and her deputy Shabika Gajnabi then steered Guyana safely to victory and a place in the final 4. Campbell ended on 30 of 35 while Gajnabi was not out on 14 of 12. In semi-final 1 on Wednesday, Barbados will play Trinidad and Tobago, while in semi-final 2, Guyana will come up against Jamaica. In the 5th place playoff on Friday, the Leeward Islands will play the Windward Islands, and the final is set for June 25th. All matches are being played at the National Stadium Providence from 9 hours 30 each day. Reporting for Newsroom, I am Avinash Ramzan.